Morning, Todd Franklin. Welcome to the Sabre Roar. I'm Robbie. And I'm Cassie. Though many students are already looking ahead to winter break, we want to take time to recap FHS fall events, including the Harvest Dance and the visit by our German Exchange students. In our first story, the annual Harvest Fest, hosted by Best Buddies in the high school, has been changed to the Harvest Dance. The teachers involved wanted to have something different, and they suggested a harvest dance. The dance brings together students with disabilities and their aides from 16 school districts and allows them to socialize in a friendly high school dance environment. The purpose is to increase uh, socialization opportunities for students with disabilities and develop communication skills. The dance includes food, a DJ, dancing, and lots of socializing amongst the different people. If you want to get involved in Best Buddies, contact Mrs. Jensen for more information. This year, Southwood Glen celebrated its 20th anniversary. October 11th of this year, students, parents, and teachers celebrated Southwood Glen's anniversary. When Southwood Glen opened, I think we had the Shining Student Program, and now the Shining Students have become Lion Pride. So the school has gone from sunshine to lions. Some of the new additions to the school are Mac laptops and new playground sets for the students. Teachers that have retired came to celebrate the anniversary with the original principal of Southwood Glen and look back on the past together. It was a special day for Southwood Glen and the four teachers that have been working there since opening day in 1992. Not everyone at FHS was staying in Wisconsin this summer. Our very own Susie took a trip to Finland as a foreign exchange student for her summer break. This past summer, Susie took a trip to Finland as a foreign exchange scholarship winner. I went through this exchange agency called YFU. It stands for Youth for Understanding. And through that program, I applied for the FUSYE scholarship, which is the Finnish U.S. Senate Youth Exchange. I knew I wanted to do a foreign exchange just because I feel like it's really important to experience and explore the rest of the world that we don't see. Susie was lucky to get a great family that traveled all over Finland. She was able to take a cruise to Sweden, visit Estonia, drive up to northern Finland, and visit Norway. Um, we visited a lot of museums and just did things that they thought were uh, specific to <laughs> Finland. Because of this great summer trip, Susie will be able to use this experience as an advantage for getting into college. It's a great tool to apply for college. It's something that colleges look at to differentiate you from other people. Because of her great experience, Susie hopes to be a foreign exchange student in college as well. This year, the Franklin football team made history by playing in the D1 state football game. History was also made on the freshman team as it welcomed its first female member. This season, Paige, a freshman, tried out for the FHS football team. The coaches were very impressed by her kicking skills and invited her to join the freshman team as a kicker. I was inspired by other girl kickers. During practice, she doesn't wear the traditional football garb, sporting only a helmet, t-shirt, and athletic shorts. She practices with the special teams, focusing solely on kicking. When we're all in a huddle, the coaches will be like, you guys are all brothers. And I'm like, I'm a sister, but you know, that's okay. Paige ended the season 10 for 12 on field goal attempts and looks forward to her sophomore season. Franklin High School invited students from their sister school in Frankfurt, Germany as part of its foreign exchange program. The German exchange gave Franklin students the chance to host a high schooler from Germany for three weeks. The Germans traveled around the city with their host families that took a lot of care to make sure they had a variety of American experiences. German students spent time at Franklin High School, but they also took trips with the group to Milwaukee, Madison, and Chicago. Many more got to see the Dallas and Six Flags, and some traveled out of the state to Minnesota and even New York. The Germans and Americans became friends quickly and got together in larger groups for social gatherings. They took shopping trips and had birthday and Halloween parties, spent some time at home with the family, and to end their trip, were taught how to play American football by Mr. Brown. All the students involved had a very rewarding time. The German students said they were very impressed with what they saw and learned about our culture, but many of them really enjoyed getting to know all their new American friends. Franklin students are looking forward to have a chance to go to Germany this summer to visit their German exchange students. Many students still keep in contact with their exchange students and plan to visit them during the school trip in June. That's all the news from us here at the Sabre Roar. I'm Cassie. And I'm Robbie. Get out there and make some news, Franklin. We'll report it.